everybody, Supersonic Fan 115 here, and today I am back again with another Sonic plush unboxing video. Now, if you guys can already tell by the title of this video, I finally got my Movie Tales plush that I hinted that I'd be getting in the last unboxing video and the last video I made, which was the which was which is when I unboxed my uh, Jack specific Sonic Movie 2 Movie Sonic plush. Well, now today, we are going to be unboxing my Jack-specific Sonic Movie 2 Movie Tales plush. So, yeah, this is going to be... I can't, I can't wait to un unbox him and, uh, you know, get a good look at the plush. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how, how good he looks. So, yeah. Anyways, before I start this video, I just want to, you know, say one last... Just one thing I'd like to say, in case you guys haven't known... Or, or, I'm sure you guys are already aware of this by now, but I like today I just graduated from high school, so I'm done. I, I'm officially done with high school. I'm done with school in general, and yeah, I'm now a free man. And yeah, I'm happy that I passed all my classes and I passed everything. So yeah, just real quick before I start this unboxing video, I just want to show off, you know, my whole my whole cap. Because, like, basically in my school, they, um, let me design my own caps for, you know, my graduation. So, of course, I decided to make a cap of, um, all about Sonic. So, here's my Sonic cap that I wore at my graduation today. And, yeah, as you guys can see, it looks, looks great. I made it myself. I colored, uh, I, took, I, I printed out some pictures of Sonic and Shadow. I colored them out, and then I cut them out. And then my teachers hot glued it for me onto the blue shiny um, background, which then they placed it, which then they placed on top of the regular base of the hat. And as you can see, here's a little like tassel here that says 2023, knowing that I graduated that year. And yeah, so cool to have this. I, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm definitely gonna cherish this moment and cherish this like i'm just gonna keep this as like a a little like a little like like remembrance of when i first graduated from high school so yeah i just wanted to showcase this cool little uh hat i made in my school let me know what you guys think of it in the comments because you know i really worked hard for this so i'm really proud that i finally graduated and now i get to move on to bigger and better things so yeah, but don't worry, the channel is not going anywhere. I will still be posting videos whenever I can. And yeah, you'll still hear from me once in a while. So, yeah, that's not the end. I'll definitely continue making amazing content for you guys because if I'm being honest, I wouldn't be here on YouTube if it wasn't for any of you guys. So, I truly, truly appreciate it. Like, I appreciate every single one of you supporting my videos and supporting my channel. And you guys are all just amazing. Just thank you all so much. I really, really do appreciate it, and it really means a lot to me from like the bottom of my heart. Just thank you all so much. So, anyways, before also before we start, I also just want to give a huge shout out to my bro Super Mario DW plush for once again buying me the movie Tails plush because you know, yeah, because basically I wanted to get the whole Sonic movie trio, so he kind of bought them like separately. So that's why I'm getting them. So each video will just be an unboxing video on. on of the plushies so and obviously today my bro just bought me movie knuckles so expect an unboxing video on him coming pretty soon and that'll probably be the last unboxing video for a while so yeah but expect a movie knuckles unboxing video coming pretty soon but yeah shout out to my bro super mario dw plush i really appreciate him getting me this gift and the fact that it actually came on the day i actually graduated makes this gift all the more special so thank you so much bro you're you're the best, man. Just thank you so much. I'm really glad we've been such close friends these past few years. And I still always appreciate every time you get a chance to just buy me wonderful gifts and ship them to my house. So I can just, you know, make unboxing videos off of them and then just make videos with them. I really do appreciate it. Like, none of that, none of this would have ever been possible for you, bro. Like, you've always been there for me. Like, I don't think I would have ever gotten these cool gifts if it wasn't for you, man. So just thank you so much, bro. You're amazing, but anyways, without any further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll get straight to the plush. So, okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to like cut carefully here, but all right, here we go. I'm just gonna try to cut carefully. I know it's in here. Ah, hold on. Try ripping it. Try ripping it open. 
Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. I almost got it. I almost got it. I need to cut it open a little more. Oh, there he is. I see the boy. I see him. Ah. Ooh, there he is. Here's the boy, Movie Tales. And what the hell? What the actual frick happened to him? Hold up. Why is he so dirty? What the actual frick? Bro, what happened to this plush? Oh my god. Bro, I'm gonna have to clean this dude up, bro. What the hell happened to this guy? My god. What the frick? I mean, he still looks kind of new, but like, sheesh. Bro, like, was this dude thrown into a warehouse and just dropped on the floor multiple times? Like, damn, he looks so dirty. Like, what? Bro, this is not how I imagine I get a plush. Like, this is unacceptable. Like, what the hell? I get a plush and it's dirty? Like, wow. That's foul. Like, these eBay sellers, bro, they really just don't give a crap, bro. That's just foul. I mean, parts of the plush is still clean, but, like, the gloves, bro, they're so dirty. Like, what? Well, they're not as, it's not as dirty as the mouth. Sheesh, man. I'm gonna have to clean this guy after I'm done this video, but sheesh, this is not how I imagined I'd be getting a movie tail plus dirty, but uh, I guess I'm gonna have to clean him, and his touch, and his tag is just freaking, well, it's fine, it's just a little bent, it's fine, and his touch tag is pretty new, so, it is typically new, but Jesus, like, why, why, why is he dirty, I don't understand, like, they didn't bother to, like, I don't know, get a, get, get a cleaner one, like, damn, I don't know how he got this dirty, but I'm gonna have to wash this guy. I swear, I'm gonna have to clean him up. Like his shoes are dirty too, so I'm gonna have to really have to freaking wash this plush now. Well, that's great. That's the first time I I I get a new plush and it's dirty and I have to wash it. That's that's great. Uh, well, it's whatever. I mean, at least I got what I paid for. I mean, it is the plush. It's not a scam. It's not a bootleg. It's the actual plush. But I'm still a little disappointed that it's dirty and not 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 fully clean. But it's whatever. I mean, it's not my bro's fault. He didn't know, so but it's okay. It's still the plush I wanted, so I just gotta clean him up, and he'll be good. So yeah, but still, it's really weird that the fact that I get a new plush and it's dirty. This has never happened to me before, and this is really weird. But it's whatever. Let's look past the fact that he's dirty and just look at him. So overall, this plush is okay. You know, it's okay. It looks really cute. I like I like the face. It looks really adorable. The ears are nice, and and yeah, the. His bangs look pretty nice, too. And I like how he has chest fur, but I don't know, it's just a little weird. Like, why doesn't he have, like, you know, like, the things sticking out over here? I don't know, it just looks weird, the fact that he just has chest fur, kind of like silver. Kind of like the Tomy Silver plush, where they just put chest fur, like, actual chest fur on him. Like, I guess that's kind of, what like, what they did. And his gloves are okay, but, again, they're really freaking dirty. But, again, I'm gonna clean it up. And his shoes look great. They look fine. They, I like it. They, they, they're simplistic, they're kind of simple, but they're fine. And his two tails are also fine. Well, it's weird that the, that they decided to just, you know, they just attached his tails together, but, you know, but at least they kind of fixed their mistake from their Jack-specific classic tails, because, you know, they actually made two separate tails, but just glued them together. So, but it actually does look like he has two tails, they're just glued together, so... Yeah, and these tails do look a lot better than the classic tails one they made, so... Yeah, this is definitely an improvement, so... Yeah, overall this plush is pretty good. I'm definitely gonna have to clean this guy after I'm done filming. But real quick before I end off this video, I'm gonna go ahead and compare him to my Movie Sonic plush. So here he is, my here's my Movie Sonic plush right next to my new Movie Tails, which I will be cleaning very soon because goddamn, I can't... I just can't. I I, I, the, I just I just can't. I, I I'm sorry. I literally just cannot get past the fact that he's dirty as hell. I know it's not that much of a big deal, and I know I can easily just clean him up. But still, this should not happen. This has never happened to me before, which is why it's very weird. Like it really is. This has never happened. Like has this ever happened to anyone where they just unbox a plush and it's just oh yeah, his face is all dirty. His freaking gloves are dirty. Like all over the place is all dirty. It's, like, it looked like it got thrown into the freaking ground and just left there for days and no one bothered to pick it up or clean it or anything and just leave it there like 
seriously people man those people over there gotta who are like stocking these plushes man they need to take better care of these plushes like come on man y'all need to take better care of tails this is not how you, you this is not how you treat tails you don't treat them like this you don't just drop them on the ground and leave them there just to get dirty and then just mail him to people so people just get dirty plushes so they basically get mint slash dirty plushes like that's that's not that's not okay but either way i still like this plush i'm just gonna give him a good clean i'm gonna wash him and yeah he'll still he'll look good as new afterwards so yeah but anyways i think that i'm gonna end off today's unboxing video here i think i've said everything i wanted to say on him and yeah i'm very happy to have basically both movie sonic and movie tails they both look absolutely amazing and they're both really amazing plushes so yeah very happy to have both of them and i also can't wait to get movie knuckles soon so i can have the entire movie trio completed but anyways guys if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to tap the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new videos that i'll be making soon in the future and that's basically it guys so stay safe stay away past school and i'll see you guys next time peace out and yeah bye Oh, Jesus Christ, Tails, what happened to you? Why are you all dirty and, and, and crap? Like, did you just, like, fall into the ground? Did you fall on the floor, like, on the dirty floor and get all dirty? Sonic, it's not my fault. The stupid packagers packaged me like this. I need to go take a bath. Uh, well, you're in luck, buddy. Um, get in the shower. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a nice good bath. No, Sonic, I don't want to take a bath. Well, too bad. You're going in the, you're going to the bathtub. All right, come here, Tails. Don't make this harder. No, Sonic, I don't want to go take a bath. I don't want to take a bath. Ah!